we're gonna move this mineral tub it was right here you can see where the cattle have been walking around it and the grass is flattened out right there they pushed it over here they're just about out so we're gonna have to get them some more but what i've been trying to do is find a little spot like this where there might be some weeds or brush growing up and put it in there so that they'll trample down those weeds or maybe eat some of them while they're eating on the mineral but i try to put it in a new spot every day it's been raining a lot here the last week and a half or a couple weeks uh, let me show you what happens when you don't move it this spot over here i uh went a day without moving it and it did rain quite a bit that day that's probably why i didn't come out here is because it was raining all day and they made a mud hole out of it and so it's important to keep that mineral moved hey buddy it's important to keep that mineral moved when it's raining like this that way they don't uh, make a mud hole out of out of the area that the mineral feeder is in and I keep it in that protein tub right now just because it's easy to slide around and move from Bye. easy to move from spot to spot let me show you another spot that it was at for a day and i came out that evening and moved it and these two these two days particularly it rained quite a bit both of those days so you can see how they tore up this a little bit but not nearly as bad as that other spot so if i had left this for one more day it had been a mud hole just like that other area. So when it's raining a lot like this, it's important to keep that mineral feeder moved or you're gonna end up uh, with spots like this or that other spot back there. Uh, luckily, you know, that's not as bad as it could have been. But it's just so wet that it, uh, it never really has dried out over the course of the last couple weeks. If you get a day that it doesn't rain, it's going to be raining the next day. So uh, when it's when it's wet like this and it just doesn't give you a break, you gotta you gotta keep that thing moved. And that's another reason why we ain't been rotating the cattle as hard as we usually do. We've given them uh, quite a large area out here. They've probably got 80 acres where they're at right now, which is plenty of land for them. Uh, but with as wet as it's been, I just don't want them tearing up the pasture, trying to move them, uh, you know, as frequently as we usually do. So it's better to just kind of wait out this rain and let it get by us, and then we'll start rotating them again. give you an update on these heifers last time I told you about some signs to look for when they're getting getting close to calving if you remember this baldy right here she was just starting to get a little bag on her You can see her bulb is getting a little bit swollen now. It was about 12 days ago or so when I first showed you these, well, showed you this heifer anyways. And so I told you it would take, you know, a good couple weeks for them to It'd take a good couple weeks for them to get uh, their bag to start filling up and start showing some more signs of calving and once you think that they're uh, getting close 
within that couple week time frame it usually takes about another week or so for them to actually have the calf or it could take two weeks it just depends now she don't want to hold still but you can see how much how much more milk is in her udders versus last time so we're gonna keep our eye on her this cow over here she's had a calf already uh, she's had one calf she had a calf last year and she's getting close to calving too and the last time we was out here uh, she didn't hardly have a bag at all, but since she's had a calf already Her bag is filling up pretty fast You can see it there And just the last time we were taking a video of this about 12 days ago, she didn't hardly have anything So an adult cow a cow that's had a calf already They'll go through these signs a lot quicker than a first calf heifer. You can see she's a little bit swollen in the vulva there. It's getting a little bit floppy. So even though that baldy heifer over there started showing signs that she was getting ready to getting closer to calving than this cow here this cow here will probably actually have her calf before that baldy heifer over there just because adult cattle they they go through the signs more rapidly than first calf heifers they'll get the milk in their bag faster they'll swell up in the back end faster and they'll go from not having much of anything at all to uh, having a calf on the ground. How you doing, girl? What do you got there, Jason? Flower. Oh, wow. There's a lot of those out there, aren't there? What are you doing, Noah? Hey guys, it's the next day. We got a little bit more sunshine today. Look at all these happy cows. They're happy because I just put some more mineral out for them. You can't see it, but they're all gathered around the mineral tub right now. majority of these cattle are heifers you can see they're starting to slick off boy she's a nice looking one all these heifers are nice looking and they're starting to come in season and uh, genetics don't lie guys all these heifers came from high quality bulls. And boy, they're really growing well on this grass. A little bit loose, some of them, but that's because this grass is real flush. It's just coming on. It's just really starting to green up. 
but that mineral will help them out. You can see some of them are eating on that mineral right now. Let me show you this mama cow here. This is our five year old cow. She's never missed a calf since she's been a since she's been a heifer herself. She has a calf on time every year. And to tell you the truth, we never weaned her calf off. She weaned her calf herself. So she never really lost her milk bag. It had decreased in milk for a period of time there over the winter. But now that she's getting closer to calving, it's starting to fill back up. You can see she's getting a little swollen in the back end there. But she's a dang good cow. You know, she doesn't always stay the fattest, but she raises a big calf. The fact that her calves usually wean off at a good size is not important but the fact that she does such a good job of taking care of that calf brings that calf through the winter with a little bit of milk weans that calf off come springtime and gets ready to have another calf uh, you can't expect a cow to stay super fat and she gives a lot of milk but you know at the end of the day She's got enough. She's got everything she needs to raise a good calf. Come on, heifers. They're always trying to chew on this four-wheeler. It's already torn up enough from you, heifers. Evidence there. Anyways, back to this mama cow here. There. There's her calf from last year. You can see how nice she is. We've been keeping all of our heifers out of this cow just because she's such, she's such a good mama. But if I was to guess, I would guess either her. There's another one getting after it. Either her or... Uh, That other black cow that I showed you earlier, trying to see if I can find her. Uh, for some reason, I really don't see her right now. There's her sister right there. Oh, there she is, she's in the back over there. And there's that heifer that I've been showing you that's getting closer to calving. If I was to guess, I'd say either that mama cow over there or this one are going to be the first to calve. And that's purely from the fact that they've had calves before. And once the cow starts going through the process of showing signs of calving, it usually doesn't take near as long as a first calf heifer. These cows will find anything to rub on. And then this first calf heifer here, I'm guessing will calve after those other two cows. But I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know, leave a comment down at the bottom which cow you think is gonna calve first. Hey, hey, don't do that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Can't keep nothing nice around here. I tell you what. So do you think that this baldy heifer is going to calve first? 
our veteran of veteran of five years old or this girl right here number 12 leave a comment down below let me know who you think's gonna calve first maybe we'll send out a free t-shirt to whoever is the first one to guess right it's probably 15 days since i made that first video of signs to look for when your heifers are starting to calve starting to show signs of calving and so you can see how slow the progress is on these heifers now her bag did get a lot bigger her bag's gotten a lot bigger she's got a little bit more swollen in the back end like i showed you earlier but i bet it still takes her another week and a half at least before she calves Boy, all these cattle are starting to look nice now that they're slicking off. If I could just get these cattle to leave my four-wheeler alone. Boy, look at all that grass out there, guys. That's just a beautiful sight. I don't care who you are. Knowing that your cattle have everything that they need. Summertime's coming, although we've got a slow start this year. Things are going to be looking good this year, I think. And I know these cattle are out here loving it. I'm going to let you go for now. They are definitely in season. But we're not quite ready to let the bulls out on them. We're going to let them get a little bit more growth. We're going to let the bulls get a little bit more growth since they're just yearlings. And we'll turn these we'll turn them bulls out on these heifers in about a month. Y'all have a good evening. And I'll give you updates and uh, make sure to tell me who you think is going to calve first. And maybe we'll get a free t-shirt out to whoever is the first one to guess right. So from the Van Leeuwen family farm, y'all take care.